Yeah, wonderful people, viewers and subscribers all over the world. Nigerian people, you have heard me many times on this platform tell you that Nigeria is a crime against humanity. Well, they have added another medal of dishonor at the ongoing Tokyo Olympics. What am I talking about? The video of a Nigerian athlete by name Chukwe Buka and Ekwachi representing Nigeria at the short put event was seen, the video is viral, washing his jersey, just one jersey he is using to represent Nigeria and he will be using it for the finals. A prospective gold medalist. Nigeria's short put athlete cries out. After he had to watch his JC to reuse it for the Tokyo Olympics final. Wow! This is unbelievable. Is this happening? This is what we call national embarrassment. I can't see myself. I don't believe this. Is he supposed to, want to have one JC? I thought there is room for him to have up to five JCs for the Olympics event. What happened? Is it the fault of the Tokyo Olympics organizers or is it the fault of the Nigerian sports minister? I think this matter needed urgent investigation. You saw it and heard the narratives. Now, it is not just an embarrassment to Nigerians, but also to the company who is going out of their way to sponsor and kit Nigerian athletes and sportsmen. They have issued a termination letter to the Nigerian Athletic Federation. Uh, in case you have not uh, seen the letter, it's right there on the screen. And in case you are not seeing it properly because of, you know, the size of the, the letters there. Let me read it out for you. From Puma, the subject, official notification of terminating, sponsoring, and licensing agreement. Dear SARS, we are referring to the sponsoring and licensing agreement signed between our company and your federation. As a direct consequence of the recent developments, particularly at the Tokyo Olympic Games 2020, which is the one happening right now. And pursuant to clauses 9.2 and 7.3 of the agreement, we hereby terminate the agreement with immediate effect. Puma explicitly declares to be discharged from any and all obligation towards all stakeholders involved and reserves all rights against these entities and individuals. The official notification is dispatched to all stakeholders listed on page two, you know, the second page. Wonderful. You see, I keep telling Nigerians that you will be victims of Nigeria. And when you serve Nigeria, you will come back with shame. I said it, you remember the time when a Nigerian cons, um, accosted the Nigerian footballers, you know, trying to humiliate them with, you know, very harsh words. He was trying to put sense into them, to let them understand that they will, they, in fact, they don't have anything to be loyal for Nigeria, to represent Nigeria for any reason whatsoever. With respect to what is, you know, I told you in that video that, these guys are also victims of Nigeria. And we should remind them that they will be disgraced. Their allowances will not be paid. They will be humiliated in the name of representing this country. Why? It is not their fault, but the fault of those handling Nigeria, the political class. The political class. They have not proven me wrong in my assertion that Nigerians are victims of Nigeria. You see, what is happening at the Olympics is a big disgrace. We've had um, athletes that were disqualified all because of negligence by the Nigerian Sports Federation. We've had a whole lot of things happening at the Olympics, including many of our own people 
who are representing different countries across the world, gathering gold and medals for their countries, respectively. Whereas those representing Nigeria are being disgraced, humiliated, and put to public shame. You know what? Do you, you know the implication of this thing? That even those who are using the who will be using the brand at the Olympics, they reserve the right. Puma reserve the right to sue them to court. That is what is right there. They reserve the rights to do whatever they want. So you can imagine. A company came out to sponsor a country like Nigeria. They provide, I know how these things works. Some of you know how these things works. Money have been provided. The materials have been provided. Every logistic have been provided for these ministries, for this sporting federation. But you know what? Just as usual, in the normal culture of Nigeria, they will divert many of these materials they will pack them just like they packed the covid 19 palliatives somebody will pack them in his warehouse and push it to the open market and sell whereas those that they were provided for to be used to represent their country in the olympics will not have any some will even have to go and buy their canvas some will even have to go and buy their talks and all their logistics some will even pay for their stay and feed themselves. Just because they want to sell their career. It is not because they want to represent Nigeria. Let me tell you the truth. That is the fact. It's not because they are loyal to Nigeria. Nobody is loyal to this country. Nobody can be loyal to a British colonial contraption. Everybody in the slightest opportunity will quit Nigeria or if you have any opportunity, nobody would like to represent this country. And that is the truth. Nigeria will not cease. The corruption in this country had become an institution. And if you expect anything better, you're wasting your time. Doctors are flying out of this country. Atlas are leaving this country. Professionals are leaving this country. People that would have added value. What is left? Make Kuna bacchanize this country. Make everybody go and answer his father's name. So that we know where our problems start. And that implies so many African countries. But Nigeria is the headquarter. Let me not say too much. I've spoken enough. Now you are seeing the disgrace of a country Nigeria had become. I'll keep speaking it until this thing sinks in. Nigeria is now going to go save on herself. Oh. Until you stop being used by these same criminals in power to recycle themselves in office, people that have nothing to contribute to your lives, until you stop making yourself a willing tool, there is no hope for you. Share this message. It is not about the athletes, but about you, youths on the street, jobless youths. That is your own life at stake. I'm signing out. I've spoken. Share it. Subscribe. Drop your comment. Let me have your opinion. I'm signing out. Stay safe.